Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and this is the CCM EFLEX 4 Blocker Review. Um, so, I have a lot of people tell me a blocker is a blocker and it's not really a big issue and it's kind of a like a throw-in after the fact and I kind of find that disappointing because I feel like it doesn't give enough credit to companies that do really good things for their blockers um, and it's just like, okay, whatever, I'll just use that. And what I mean by that is CCM has used this style of blocker for quite a while. Um, since it's very similar since Reebok one, they obviously removed binding to so just a couple of changes here or there, but overall it's very similar. CCM does have a pretty awesome thing where they're both the blocker and the premier and eFlex are very similar. And you can order one for the other. You can customize it. So if you order eFlex, um, but you want the premier settings, you can do that and customize it. Great job, CCM. I appreciate that. Um, Great, great idea. Now onto this blocker itself. Um, it's a very, it's a staple. And this thing has been around forever. A lot of goalies just totally love it. Look at Kerry, Corey Schneider wearing this blocker and glove, like a CCM glove for a while. Ryan Miller always wears a CCM Reebok all the way back. Like even in Larson days, he wore a premier blocker. Um, so it's a staple. It's really popular for what it is. It's I think it's gotten to the point where it's just okay and it can be better and I wish it was better and here's why it should be better. So, um, actually I'm gonna point out what I really like on this blocker first and then we'll get to the negatives afterwards. It's, I really like this strap. Um, this is awesome. I don't know why companies haven't done this sooner. It's a quick release nylon strap on your blocker. It's genius. I think it's better than the BOA system. I hate the BOA system on Brian's by the way better than the normal uh, Velcro on Bauer. This thing is awesome. And it's an, like, I doubt this plastic is ever gonna break. And if it does, it's super easy to replace. Um, it's nice detailing on the, the binding too, just putting a little bit of speed skin on it. I love this, I love this design. Simple, great move, good job. Index finger protection on these is awesome. I love this. The, your glove, your stick basically just sits there and it sits basically on the stick perfectly. It's a phenomenal design, really well done. Again, good job CCM. I'm gonna give you credit where you deserve it. Um, the other thing that's really awesome is this D3O right here. So this is, so basically this is, so if a puck gets caught up, like up in here, you have that bit of D3O for extra padding. Again, phenomenal idea. I really, really like it. Um, good job again. <laughs> and uh, I, I Again, just great job. I, I like that idea a lot. I feel like even the top of the fingers are quite padded, which is also really nice. I'm not sure if it's D3O. It kind of feels like it could be, but I'm not positive. Um, and that way, if you get hit in the fingers here, it will like just give you extra protection back there. Again, great, great design. Um, things I, what else do I like about this? The cuff, nice open cuff pretty straightforward it's their new one piece one um no issues with it comfortable backhand was comfortable blocker was overall pretty comfortable all right so now we're going to get to things where i think they do poorly and should definitely improve on or could improve on um i'm going to start with since we saw, talked about how great the finger protection was i'm going to talk about hopefully this will be on camera noticeable this stuff right in here so specifically on the index finger um this piece right here is like, I can feel pulling out. See how my finger doesn't pull down straight? That is very annoying. <laughs> um, you can see how it kind of pulls on an angle. Vaughn has come up with a great idea where this is all, this doesn't have an outer gusset. It's all kind of sewn in one piece. So it only has a gusset right here. That's genius. Cause this won't happen. It will be attached to the top. And no matter what, this won't really move. Cause your finger, like the actual finger stall will be so much bigger and on an angle. I love that design. I just don't like how this ended up like this twist and it's not comfortable and it's kind of definitely pulling on my finger. I'm disappointed in that. I kind of wish they put it at the top of the finger, um, but I'm, I'm not sure why they did that, but it's disappointing there. Uh, the next thing is these are, this is the only blocker with, so CCM finally installed fingertip protection. Um, Vaughn has had this for years. Bauer has had it for years. Bauer has a much taller one, as you can see. Um, everyone has it, has had it for years. 
CCM finally did it. Usually, before, it used, this like wasn't there and this was just curved. I think Warrior's the only company now that doesn't do it. There's just curved like this too. New JRZ gloves is curved without fingertip. This was the only glove I've ever had problems picking up a stick with. So when I'd go to pick up a stick and I would, I would hit basically this piece every time. I'd go down and I'd try to pick up the stick and I would just hit it with the tips of my fingers and I couldn't grab the stick. I would have to kind of like grab it like with the palm and not actually my fingers and it was really annoying. Obviously this is kind of a minor thing and it's not gonna affect gameplay all the time, but it was something I wanted to call out because I think this design is just not that great. Um, you can see how my fingers are kind of getting stuck on it like that. Whereas the Bowers still cover your fingers like when it's down, you're gonna be protected from pucks, doesn't get in the way and just moves better. Um, now obviously this one, when you look at it like this, like pretty similar, but when it goes up, it does get stuck. That's kind of annoying. Again, I'm just calling out everything where I think these could be better. Um, and me being critical is not me saying something bad. It's saying I think things could be better and there are better alternatives. So I would hope that these would improve in the future um, because of things I think could be better. So the next thing I'm getting to is the sure Grip, which is the material in the palm right here. Um, the idea behind sure Grip is it's textured. And so when it gets wet, it should stay still stay grippy. And does give you, it should give you a little bit extra grip. So it's all throughout the palm. Kind of goes up into the thumb too. Yeah, the thumb is sure grip as well. And you can kind of, can you feel on the inside? You can't feel it on the inside. So it's just their normal gray gnash on the inside. Um, so my, I really like sure grip. I think it does a really good job, especially when wet. I found, haven't found another material that really works to keep your hand kind of snug in something as well as sure grip does, which is why I order on basically any, any glove I can get, I'm a huge fan of. I'm disappointed I can't get a sure grip on this, but it's that one's really comfortable anyways. This one does have sure grip. And so the detailing on these, you can really see the texture on it. Um, and it's it's grippy. It is 100% grippy, it's really great. Bauer calls it their catch, their catch grip. Um, I, it's textured, it's really nice. It keeps your hand locked in place. This one, CCM used to put it on kind of like the inside too. And a pair of my old Reebok gloves I have have this, but they're so old it looks really worn down. It actually looks like this with how little texture there is. But those are like eight years old and these are five months old and not worn that much. Their sure grip, CCM's cheapening out on their sure grip and this material isn't that good anymore and it's really disappointing. Um, you don't get the grip you do like on this Bauer glove at all. And I feel like it should be on the inside still too. That way you actually get your hand gripping too when your the glove gets wet. So that's really disappointed disappointing in me. Um, if I were, someone was buying this, I would tell them just to get the Nash Palm because this doesn't, like, unless it's gonna act as a durability layer, which I mean, it might, but I would just get the Nash Palm because this sure grip isn't helping for grip because it's the texture is basically just non-existent. You can see the pattern, but you can't really feel the pattern. And um, that's really disappointing from to me because I'm a huge fan of sure grip stuff. Um, so next, the board. Um, some people, I don't know who likes a soft locker board. I had one person tell me that uh, they liked a softer locker board because they can control rebounds better for it. But I don't understand why anyone would want a softer blocker board now. And the reason being, I mean, you're not using your blocker generally to drop pucks down to you. You're using it to deflect somewhere. Um, and I think this board is really lagging behind everyone else. You can fold it a little bit so you can see how this is bending here. And this is, it's not awful, but it's not like, it's not amazing. Like it's that, I don't like how that can bend. You look at two X's and there's like nothing. You look at a Paso, absolutely nothing. And you look at CCMs and, and it does bend and that's, that's kind of disappointing. Um, I think this should be, this blocker board should be the uh, 4.9 board and this board should be thicker or have a thicker poly insert. I have never seen, I've never used a blocker where pucks die off this more than, like die off the blocker than more than this one. I wore, I wasn't a fan of the optic blocker because I didn't think I had a pop and I thought the sidewall was bad. This one, I stopped the puck and it's on my Instagram and I'll link it in the description, I stopped the puck 
and the puck just like a shot from the point. It wasn't a rocket or anything, but it was still a shot from the point. I went to direct into the corner and it dropped about three feet from me. And I kind of just looked down. I was like, that, like if I was wearing that 2X, that would have been off the boards. So I'm like, what, like what, <laughs> what's with that? That's really disappointing to me. Um, and I feel, and I mentioned this in the powder review, I'm going to mention it here. I feel like CCM needs to be dragged into new tech and trying new things. And this is one of those cases. This whole piece is one of those cases. It hasn't really changed a lot. I'll give them huge props for this. That's much better. This is a nice one piece cuff. The D3O is pretty nice too. Um, but everything else is kind of just status quo. Before I get on this rant, the sideboard's okay. It does have a bit of give to it, but it's going to be protective enough because uh, like, you have a thick foam in there and then you have a softer layer right here. So it's going to be protected now, especially with the thumb. The thumb's pretty solid too. Um, it's a simple design. It's It won't stop everything because it does bend a little bit, but it's pretty solid. So not a huge issue there. Not my favorite, but not the worst. Um, so back to my rant. I feel like this is another example of CCM like dragging their feet behind and not wanting to change anything. Bauer has been using Curve which is this, in their blockers since the 1S. Um, and they've been using funky materials like this arrow, this arrow light foam. And like they've been trying different things and CCM hasn't really changed much. And it's really disappointing. Um, I would like to see this blocker have way bigger rebounds. One of the reasons is there's one thing if you punch pucks all the time, but I find you can't always punch pucks. And that's when I don't want a soft board, just plop something back out in front. If a guy's coming in close to you and just shoots and your hands are tight, sealing up holes, or if it's like a screen, those are the big ones, screens, you don't see your hands are sealed. Um, so like you're not punching at the puck because you don't see it and it hits the board and it doesn't go that far. That's kind of a bad thing for me. And that's why I like the really bouncy boards where I can, if it's in tight, my blocker's angled like this, hits the board, goes off the glass, or goes far in the corner, doesn't go anywhere near where someone can get. The other thing is, if I screw up a punch, so if I do make a punch and it doesn't go as far as I was expecting or like wanting it to, with a softer face, it's going to be more dangerous and easy to pick up for the opponents in front of you. Whereas the more lively it is, it might it's harder to grab. Um, I had a game, a, my last game with my JRZ blocker. I punched one, screwed it up, went basically hit my teammate but it was like a hot potato and he like bobbled it, fell down and I covered it. But like stuff like that, if this was this board, that would have came off much softer. And if that was an opponent, it would have been easier to pick up for an actual shot. So the reason I have this elbow pad here, um, I find that CCM is kind of being too reactive and they're not pushing like the envelope and they're not trying new things. I think they're too comfortable in the market they're in. I think because of that, the products tend to lag behind. Their pads are catching up in terms of weight, but I still think they're leaving some things behind compared to the competitors. Like it, it was generation, like two generations of or three generations of pads of CCM just being way too heavy compared to everyone else. And they finally caught up to that. Bauer has been using Curve in the 1S. We're now on the 2X. So that's four years. Um, CCM and they use Bauer's been using curve on their elbow pads too. So CCM has started to use their composite material, which is this is like ideally the same material as their skate material. That's what curve composite is. Curve composite was first used on Bauer skates and then they brought it to protective lines to kind of get lightweight without plastic. And anyways, CCM has started using their composite material and that's a good thing. And CCM should do this more. This material should be in this blocker board because it should be lighter than plastic and stiffer, but it would be more expensive probably. <laughs> and you might be able to thin this out so it shouldn't bend like that too, but, or so it wouldn't bend because of the composite. But this material, obviously on this one, it's not like it moves. It's not that big. It's designed for an elbow pad, but this like stuff like this would be great putting into this and to make it use your tech that you have and make this better. Um, CCM has like these foams that they've been using forever. It's their, like you, well, I don't know what they called anymore. This is a RBZ shin pad. Um, they have U plus foam on it, as you can see right here. This has been around for a long time. Um, these, I love this foam. 
it's a closed cell foam, so technically it shouldn't take in sweat, stuff like that, and it shouldn't like end up smelling that bad. Use this on the cuff and everything. Like use it on the back end, use it. CCM doesn't use any of this tech and this awesome materials that they have for their um, player gear in their goalie stuff. And it's super disappointing. Like look at this knee pad. This is a nice rubber piece and you have this, I can't remember what this liner is called, but it's also on this one. It's like their dry something liner, dry foam liner. Use this material on the goalie knee pads. Use this nice foam. You have this tech, tech use it. And this is what makes like this glove, this, this blocker disappointing. Cause I've seen other blockers and I know how much like this, like the stuff that's going into this and making this nicer. Like this, obviously this doesn't do anything, but it might be lighter than just a normal foam. Like where it is, it's not a huge issue. They could have used it up here and I think they should have. Um, but using stuff like that, using the curve, CCM has all this at like all this ability to use this stuff and they're just too comfortable where they are. And it's really disappoints disappoints me because they're not they're not making the best product available and they're not using tech that they have from their player stuff and it's it's frustrating to me um, and it disappoints me a lot because I think they could do much better and they're just not um, personally I'm really excited about the Apex line because I want to see what it's going to be I hope it's a big change sorry not Apex Axis line because it will be a new change. Um, and I want to see something different. Well, I truly think CCM should do their axis should be all future tech stuff. Totally new. Use all the, the carbon they have. Use the different foams. And then leave the E-Flex the way it is. So if someone wants a softer pad, more traditional pad, you have the E-Flex. Or your Retroflex. So you have that too. And do something new and do something better. Because this is okay and that's it. And that's why I'm really disappointed. Because it could be so much better and it's just not because they're too comfortable where they are. So thank you very much listening to Matt Rant. Um, this has been the CCM eFlex 4 blocker review. Again, it's okay. I think there's better options out there. And if I was buying a full set, I would not, not if I was buying various like, individual pieces to find, because I never match, I always use what I like the most. Um, I would not use this blocker, just straight up. I would not use it. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like this video, subscribe to me on YouTube, hit that bell so you get notified when I make a new video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, links are in the description. I do small videos um, and comparisons, stuff like that on Instagram and Twitter, which aren't big enough for YouTube. So check those out because some of them are pretty interesting, I think. Um, and yeah, and if you ever do buy a piece of gear because of one of my videos, make sure you reach out to the manufacturer, let them know, helps me get on their radar so I can get more gear and do content like this on. Thank you very much for watching and take it easy.